Hey everyone, stay tuned because on this segment of SHGF Survival Series, we're going to be talking about the color codes of awareness. Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm Liberty Stacking, and we're going to be talking about the color codes of awareness today. So we've had a lot of great content from everybody in the uh, in the survival series. Uh, we started off with Pirate Stacker, then we went to Silver Scorpion, then the Patriotic Stacker, and then after me is going to be the Pistol Pack and Pilot wrapping it all up for us tonight. So before we get started, smash the thumbs up button, hit the like leave a comment and if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing really helps out the channel so let's go ahead and get into it all right so let's get into the color codes of awareness before we do that we need to talk about the OODA loop this was a concept produced by colonel john boyd of the u.s air force and it's a decision making process uh it's you start with observe this is your seeing what's going on, you're noticing all the stuff around you, you know, you're taking in all the inputs. Then the next step of this decision-making process is you orient yourself. You know, you start to position yourself in the scenario and you start playing all the games of, well, you know, if, if X is this, then Y is that, you know, you're beginning to to be able to get into a position to respond, then you go to decide. This is where you make that decision. You come up with the plan. You're going to do X, Y, and Z. You know, and the final step of this is act. This is where you commit to it. You know, you go, you give it all. You know, if you're having to engage a threat, this is where you actually engage the threat. Uh, so you're... The whole time the OODA loop is moving, or you're moving through the OODA loop, you know, you're you're taking in observations, making determinations. So the biggest thing is to always be aware, you know, because bad things happen when somebody breaks your OODA loop. And usually if your OODA loop is broken, it's because uh, you weren't aware of what was going on, which this brings us into the color codes of awareness. So these awareness color codes, these were created by a man named uh, Colonel Jeff Cooper, who is a uh, United States Marine. Uh, this is his system, not mine. So the first condition is condition white, which is no situational awareness or preparedness. The only thing in this scenario that's going to save you is the incompetence and ineptitude of your attacker. Your odds of survival here in this condition are not good. This is head up ass, not paying attention, just, you know, odio odio down the road we go. The only time you should be in this condition is when you're at your house, sitting in your recliner, and your loyal and faithful dog is at your feet. And your doors are locked. You know, the alarm is set. You know, this is the only acceptable time to be in this condition. So, from here, we're going to move to condition yellow. Alright, so condition yellow. This is that relaxed alert. This is a general awareness without a specific threat identification. This is, today I may have to defend myself. That's the mentality here. You know, you're doing your 360 degree scan. You're watching what's going on with people around you. Uh, you know, when you're in Walmart or out in public at the mall, you're paying attention to what is happening around you. You're not, you know, as we saw in uh, Condition White, you know, people in there buried in their phones. This is you're paying attention. 
looking around, being alert. Moving from condition yellow, you reach condition orange. This is where specific threats have been identified. You've, you've realized something's not quite right. Your, your spidey sense is tingling. You know, so you, you're moving your 360 degree focus to, to gather intel on your environment and it begins to prepare your mind to make that decisive action. As you can see, we're starting to kind of move through the OODA loop from, you know, yellow being observed to orange being orient. You know, this is how this picture's coming into play. You're, you're noticing what's going on. You're saying, man, something's not right. You know, this guy over here just, he doesn't look right. You know, this is where you need to be. You know, paying attention and seeing what's going on. So from condition yellow, you move to condition red. This is where you have identified a legitimate threat. This is where you begin to prepare your body for defensive action. You know, from this point, the fact that you may have to use force is highly likely and probably imminent. This is, you know, you're getting into the fight or flight stage, you know, this is where you see, you're beginning to see the attack coming. And because you're paying attention, you're ready to respond to that while other people are going to be in panic. So let's move on to the last condition, which is condition black. So the final stage is condition black. At this point, contact has been made. You're at war. You know, the bad guy has shown up. He's shown what his intent is. You know, it's it's time to earn your paycheck, so to say. This is where the fight or flight kicks in, and it now becomes, you know, survival. You're, you're going to be using all your energy to focus on that threat. Superior tactics, training, and a mindset are important at this point for your survival. So, you know, when you hit this condition, it is life and death at this point. This is, you know, this is where it culminates. And you can move from these conditions back and forth. You know, you're in the mall, the active shooter comes in, he starts shooting, you know, and you have to defend yourself and the people around you. Well, you know, you neutralize that threat. You just, you just don't go, okay, well, it's over with. You still, you're making sure that there's not somebody else that you didn't miss. You know, that, you know, he doesn't have a buddy around the corner. You know, the biggest thing is, you know, to Always be aware of what's going on around you when you're out in public, you know, because most people go through life and say, you know, nothing bad's going to happen. And then as soon as something bad happens, they freak out. Oh my God, this can't be happening to me. Their OODA loop is completely fractured, you know, and they sit there and you know, in a panic, they freeze. And you can see it on videos when something happens. You see people freeze and lock up instead of respond and react to the incident and, you know, either try to get the hell out of there or try to stop whatever's going on. So always remember that, we've got people, when you are out in, you know, Try to be cognizant of what's going on around you because it could very well save your life one day. So that's all I have today. Uh, if y'all found this helpful, you know, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and y'all head over to Pistol Pack and Pilot. He's going to finish it up for the day. This is Liberty Stacking signing off. Remember, stay safe and keep stacking.